let us section the discussion in of voltage regulation for maximum voltage regulation and zero voltage regulation okay as i'm keep on saying like you know my target for this uh, gate 2020 is you should be able to solve problems at least 90 percent of the problems given in gate exam so don't expect in detail theory and all but you will be able to remember all the what they say conclusions and you will be able to apply also okay what is voltage regulation formula we got previously voltage regulation equal to re per unit sin theta 2 plus r minus xe per unit sin theta 2 okay so the, of course this this is the voltage regulation at full load condition okay now in this like you know there is a special discussion about like you know why maximum voltage regulation is important and why zero voltage regulation is important means but those things anyway like you know problems cannot be formed i will discuss in detail uh, machines only here zero voltage regulation we know that this minus should be used for leading condition and this plus should be used for lagging condition okay now if it is minus if it is minus re per unit sin theta 2 can be equal to xe per unit uh, sorry oh i'm really sorry i have to write here cos theta 2 okay now if i consider minus then there is a possibility that re per unit cos theta 2 can be equated to xe per unit sin theta 2 zero voltage regulation come so zero voltage regulation should come at leading power factors only so let me take that conclusion zero voltage regulation at leading only at leading power factors only and now if i consider for example if this is some value if this is some value if it is plus only like you know maximum voltage regulation can come so at lagging power factors only maximum voltage regulation come so here maximum voltage regulation at lagging conditions okay now previously we discussed like you know x by r ratio of transformer in one of the problem i said x by r ratio of transformer should vary between 2 to 6 okay let me take it as 4 4 for example if i take 1 plus j4 j4 okay ohms are per unit whatever it may be okay x value is 4 times bigger than r okay now how to remember how to remember zero voltage regulation should occur at leading power factor zero should be nearer to maximum power factor okay what is maximum power factor unity and maximum voltage regulation should occur nearer to zero that way okay let me repeat again zero voltage regulation at maximum power factor maximum voltage regulation at zero power factor nearer to nearer to okay so you please remember this let me repeat again maximum voltage regulation nearer to zero power factor zero voltage regulation nearer to maximum power factor what is maximum power factor power factor should vary from zero to one only so maximum power factor is one now zero voltage regulation will occur at leading power factor zero voltage regulation maximum power factor means nearer to unity Just remember this way maximum maximum voltage regulation should be nearer to zero power factor so nearer to zpf zero power factor zpf now see here come back to here if resistance is one reactance should be at least x by r ratio should vary in transformer between two to six so reactance value four is fine okay now see when nearer to unity come when nearer to what do you say zpf come for example if i think of this as z magnitude of z is going to be how much under root of four for this square plus this square under root so 16 plus 1 17 okay now nearer to unity nearer to unity means that 4 divided by under root of 17 is nearer to 40 because under root of 17 is almost nearer to 4 only okay so nearer to unity nearer to unity means that like you know 4 divided by under root of 17 okay x by j okay my uh, that doesn't mean that i don't know how to derive and all or how to analyze and explain in detail but <clears throat> this is the shortest way which is best at this point of time because already we are almost at the end of november 
okay so 4 by almost 4 will give you nearer to unity or not so here it should be x by z okay now if you think of 1 by root under root of 17 r by z r by z nearer to 0 power 5 you will get or not yes 1 divided by under root of 17 so this is going to be 1 divided by under root of 17 is nearer to 0 or not yes so r by z r x by z x by z so this is going to be nearer to means that this is going to be r by z okay now means maximum voltage regulation should occur nearer to 0 power factor okay that nearer to 0 power factor is r by z is the power factor angle okay now if you think of zero voltage regulation at leading power factor nearer to unity x by z is the power factor nearer to unity okay now see here like you know maybe they may give x by r ratios or r by x ratios also for example zero voltage regulation let me analyze zero voltage regulation zero voltage regulation means that this equation should be zero means that it should be negative means that it should be leading so zero voltage regulation leading power factor zero voltage regulation at maximum power factor that is nearer to unity nearer to unity because power factor maximum can be nearer to unity only nearer to is not exact unity okay so nearer to unity is in the sense x by z or r by z x by z power factor okay now let me draw triangle at lagging power factor this voltage will be reduced at leading power factor this voltage will be increased at unity power factor voltage drop is going to be positive if voltage drop is positive if i keep this constant infinite source this voltage should be reduced this voltage should be reduced okay so if this voltage reduced v by f reduced operating flux reduced now see here in ideal transformer ideal transformer this will not be there means that in ideal transformer we can say that transformer is a constant flux machine but not in practical case to be precise to be precise okay now let us uh, see the core flux of a practical transformer because people will be confused means are they asking are they going to ask about ideal or practical they will think okay so just to see the question automatically they will give you the keywords they will give you the keywords the core flux of a practical transformer and a practical transformer with a resistive load see here is strictly constant means indirectly he is saying that don't select a okay now increases linearly no increases the square root of the load no okay decreases with increased load yes okay so if i if i keep on increase the load at unity power factor this voltage to be precise in practical transformer will reduce so that's why he said that strictly constant no strictly not constant it will decrease with increased load thank you if you convert this into triangle this is going to be theta 2 okay so power factor should be x by z means that this should be x okay cos cos theta cos theta 2 is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse so this should be z means that opposite side this is here this is here in the sense opposite side is going to be r so zero voltage regulation will occur at theta 2 or tan uh, okay theta 2 equal to tan inverse of r by x okay now let me think of maximum voltage regulation maximum voltage regulation in the sense if this is there the plus this is there so maximum voltage regulation will occur so plus lagging power factor so lagging now maximum voltage regulation nearer to zero power factor nearer to zero r by z is nearer to zero or x by z r by z r by z okay and r by z nearer to zero power factor now let us try to draw triangle for this now when load power factor angle theta 2 cos theta 2 is going to be adjacent by hypotenuse that is r by z okay so if it is r if it is z it should be x so theta 2 should be tan inverse of x by r okay all together let us see what are the things we remember nothing 
okay maximum voltage regulation maximum plus lagging power factor maximum voltage regulation should occur nearer to zero power factor nearer to zero is r by z because x by r ratio already we know it should be 2 to 6 okay and zero voltage regulation it should be minus then only this and this will get cancelled out so minus zero voltage regulation in the sense minus leading power factor zero voltage regulation maximum power factor maximum power factor is unity and nearer to unity in this x by z or r by z x by z power factor angle power factor okay or from tan point of view tan point of view means if it is r by x because you can draw this directly okay so power factor for example this is going to be zero voltage regulation maximum power factor unity so cos theta 2 should be x by z x by z is unity nearer to unity so this will become r tan inverse of r by x should be equal to theta 2 over now see here maximum voltage regulation this plus this is going to maximum max, maximum voltage regulation plus lagging power factor maximum voltage regulation should occur nearer to zero power factor nearer to zero power factor r by z so theta 2 power factor okay cos theta 2 is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse r by z r by z calculate x so tan inverse of x by r x by r problem solved voltage regulation is completed okay we are ready to solve problems now let us see this problem okay many say that transformer is a constant flux machine okay transformer is a constant flux machine is right transformer is not a constant flux machine is also right because for everything to be precise will be there to be precise will be there so to be precise transformer cannot be like you know constant flux machine because see here we calculated voltage regulation across re2 and xe2 re2 and xe2 okay so if this is re2 if this is xe2 if this is e2 if this is v2 there will be a difference between e2 and v2 or not yes okay so wherever you find it may be synchronous machine or transmission line or maybe transformer everywhere if you find resistance and reactance resistance and reactance we can use the formula at the analysis okay for example this is some resistance r this is some resistance x okay so this is v x this is v y okay at lagging power factor at lagging power factor re per unit cos theta 2 plus x e per unit sin theta 2 in the sense voltage regulation is going to be positive positive in the sense means what is voltage regulation no load voltage minus load voltage divided by rated voltage so no load voltage minus load voltage is positive means that compared to here voltage will be less okay so if i think of this is at lagging power factor at lagging power factor if i constantly fix this okay it can be e2 if e2 is fixed v2 should reduce okay now for example if it is leading power factor if it is leading power factor at leading power factor what is happening re per unit cos theta 2 minus xe per unit sin theta 2 can be this value can be more this value can be more such that voltage regulation can be this minus this this value will be more can be more under that condition voltage regulation can be negative what is meant by negative for example in power systems we know Faraday effect okay same same everything is going to be same so in Faraday effect what will happen my sending a compared to sending and voltage receiving and voltage can be more okay so many people feel here that like you know if receiving and voltage is more how from sending end to receiving and uh, power actual power will transmit if you feel if this voltage is more current should be in this direction power should be in this direction because this voltage is more you are thinking in terms of DC not from AC okay I will explain about this like you know even though this voltage is more even though this voltage is less the actual power flow can happen from here to here how I will explain maybe in synchronous or maybe after some time because this is not the right time to discuss okay but remember one thing even if this voltage is more also even this voltage is less also power will flow from power can flow from here to here I will explain that in synchronous okay now if it is a leading power factor compared to sending and voltage receiving and voltage can be more here Right? now why don't we apply the same across shunt branch for example this is r1 this is x1 because wherever i have resistance reactance i can use the same voltage regulation or same voltage variation characteristics now let me think of this as v1 infinite source which cannot be changed let me think of this as e1 
ओके इन एग्जैक्ट इक्वल सर्क्यूट टू बी प्रेसाइज इन एग्जैक्ट इक्वल सर्क्यूट शंट ब्रांच विल बी हियर शंट ब्रांच इज हियर ओके सो अक्रॉस द शंट ब्रांच इफ वी वन इज कांस्टेंट इफ दिस इज अ लैगिंग पावर फैक्टर lagging power factor now voltage regulation is positive means that compared to sending and voltage receiving and voltage will be less because plus are you are you cast there to plus x is uh, per unit sign theta do so this value will be less if this value is less voltage across shunt branch is going to be less if voltage across shunt branch is going to be less v by f less voltage is reducing so v by f ratio will be less already we know that b max or pi max is directly proportional to v by f so the moment voltage reduces automatically operating flux will be reduced okay for example if it is operating at leading power factor leading power factor my e1 can be more if e1 is more voltage across the shunt branch will be more if voltage across the shunt branch is more v by f ratio will be more if v by f ratio is more automatically b max or operating flux will be more so to be precise transformer is not a constant flux machine okay maybe some small small books may tell like you know transformer is a constant flux machine but no transformer is not a constant flux machine to be precise but normally we say without considering this r1 and x1 we, we can say transformer is a constant flux machine but if you consider r1 and x1 to be precise transformer is not a constant flux machine okay now if it is operating at unity power factor unity power factor because they have given the core flux of practical transformer with resistive load okay so if it is operating at unity power factor if you see the equation if you see the equation okay unity power factor in this cos theta d is going to be 1 sin theta d is going to be 0 so this is going to vanish but still are you per unit voltage drop will be there or not yes so voltage drop is there means that compared to here 